Thank you, Claudine. The crash of Flight 3407, which claimed 50 lives in Clarence Center in February of 2009, is far from a distant memory for those affected by it. And as two on your side, Steve McKinley reports, those who battled for airline safety measures amid their grief are finding themselves preparing to battle once again to preserve them. We're going to stay diligent. We're going to keep an eye on Washington. Six years since the crash, later blamed on pilot error, which claimed the lives of their loved ones, the fight continues for the 3407 families. And I think it's going to be like a never-ending process. I, I mean, it's sad to say, but I just think it's something that's always going to have to be watched. Inclement weather drove them from the planned site of their news conference at the crash site on Long Street in Clarence Center to Clarence Town Hall. I get a little choked up when I think of their losses and their strength. An emotional Senator Charles Schumer vowed not to stand by and let the increased pilot training requirements that came about as a result of the crash be repealed. Pilots now have to log 1,500 flight hours before receiving their airline transport certificate. But there is concern that as part of a bill to renew the FAA charter this year, the airline industry and its lobbyists will seek to roll back the training hours to the 250 previously required before the crash. Any attempts to water down the legislation these families have worked so hard to pass over the next six years, they'll have to go through all of us first. And they have an important ally. 250 hours total time to be an airline pilot is laughable. That's Captain Sully Sullenberger, the skilled pilot of the Miracle on the Hudson, who safely landed his failing jet onto the water and who stands by these families. I feel an intense obligation to to do good with this bully pulpit that I now have. And so, Senator, I do have to be here. How could I not be here? I owe it to everyone who flies to be an effective advocate for them. On Tuesday, 30 of the 3407 family members will go to Washington to lobby once again to keep increased training requirements intact in front of an entirely new Congress and bureaucracy. We have to be as strong as ever because in six years there's been a turnover. Some of the people don't even know who we are to let them know that um, there's a face to the name. These aren't statistics. These are people that were loved, that were killed unnecessarily. Meanwhile, the land where the plane crashed, now a memorial site, is expected to be officially transferred to the town of Clarence sometime this week. The Walensky family sold it to the town for $1. Scott and Kelly. All right, Dave McKinley tonight, Dave, thank you. Mm -hmm.